Hello and welcome to what I call a foreign exchange. I've always been a fan of history and different cultures and that has led me to trying different foods and different things from areas other than my own. I'm from North America and I'll be trying some pure butter shortbread made, or rather a product of Scotland. First I'll start with pure butter shortbread and after that but before moving on, I've counted the holes in it, and it seems to be 13 holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. On all of them, at least in the picture. I wonder if that means something. Well, next, I'll be trying the pure butter shortbread rounds, which have a design in the middle, which is the Scottish thistle. That's pretty cool. As a fan of history, that's, uh, that's excellent to see. And lastly, I'll be trying I'm trying to get a good picture here. There we go. Mini shortbread, um, mini dog, mini Scotty dog shortbread. Goodness gracious. Um, yeah. On this one, I happen to read. On the sign, it has a picture of the Scottish dogs, the Scotty dogs, and it had one has a bowl on it. And then in the small text below, it says, serving suggestion, bowls not included. <laughs> well, if they're not included, I'd like to find out if there is a bow that I can buy that's uh, edible, so I can put it on there. Yeah, all right, so let's get into a little bit about it, the history, and learn a little bit. So, if I can focus, definitely think I can to make it interesting. That should definitely be good enough. It says, pure butter shortbread rounds. Walker's pure butter shortbread is baked in the secluded village of Albular Speyside in the heart of the Scottish Highlands. The shortbread proudly features the Scots thistle, long recognized as the national emblem of Scotland. The shortbread is produced to a traditional recipe, which has, ha which has been produced, <laughs> the shortbread is produced to a traditional recipe which has been handed down through generations of the Walker family. Walkers personally guarantee that this product is made using only the finest ingredients possible to obtain and contains no artificial flavors, uh, artificial colors, flavorings, or preservatives. There I go filling in words. <laughs> artificial flavors is something that I'm used to saying, so I just filled it in. All right, next the ingredients. The ingredients all just say, um, Wheat, flour, butter, sugar, salt. Like that is it. At least for that. The next one, the ingredients say wheat, flour, butter, sugar, wheat, starch, and salt. Simple enough. And on this one, the ingredients happen to be wheat, flour, butter, sugar, and salt. That's pretty basic. That's pretty simple. I can memorize that. All right, let's get started eating this. It should be an experience. Okay. So what makes this pretty cool is that the actual tartan or pattern or plaid, depending who's looking at it, matches the kilt that I'm wearing. It's called the McDonald Tartan. And my last name Hudson falls under it. As similar as to how the Sunny Water falls under Coca-Cola, because Coca-Cola is the parent company. McDonald is the parent name. Hudson falls under. So that's pretty cool. First, I'll start with the basic one. The 
pure butter shortbread. Simple one. Easy enough to open. Whoa. And the package comes as such. Pretty cool. Glad I had this plate here. That's a lot of crumbs. Definitely a lot. So one, one plate will be the holder <laughs> and the other will be the tester. Let's see. Hmm. It's good. It's basic. Can't really compare it to anything that I'm used to. It tastes like a butter butter cookie yeah butter cookie original nothing fancy about it just be a good snack it doesn't stick to the teeth I like it definitely Thick. It takes a while to chew. I mean, you just can't stuff a whole bunch of them in your mouth. It's one at a time. <laughs> and that is it. Next, I'll go for the pure butter shortbread rounds. A little bit harder to open. That must mean it must be uh, that much better. Ooh. Comes packaged like this. Awesome. Seems a few took one for the team and broke in half. <laughs> if anything is that difficult to open, it must be good. And that's a good view of what it looks like. Scottish thistle looks amazing on there, no doubt. Same taste as this one, but just a tad bit lighter. It's a tad bit. In fact, the way that this is um, put together is actually better to eat than the way that is put together. I don't know how to describe it. it. Seems like the flavor is just on point all over. And that flavor is just on point in some spots. This one is easier to eat. But still, still only one at a time. It really packs a punch. Just imagine a basic chocolate chip cookie. This is a basic pure butter shortbread. Next, mini Scotty dogs. No bow included. Very easy to open. And it comes in this package. Definitely look like little mini Scottish dogs. That's awesome. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, not as detailed as on the package, but um, still, still good enough. I mean, I can tell it's a, well, this one might be a horse if I didn't know I was eating a Scotty dog. Like, that's a horse. <laughs> and I'd be, like, adamant about it. But, uh, this, this one is thick. 
<laughs> it's a it's a thick little mini me. A flavor. Wow. You know they all taste the same, but the way that they're made and shaped, it's like a uh, flavor hits you either all at once or just in different areas or impacts you with a full force. And I'll say that this this uh, this hits you at a full force. This shortbread right here and little areas you get a flavor impact. Um, the thistle uh, off and on. But this Scotty dog right here, as soon as you bite into it, it's just a atomic bomb of flavor. All up in there. In fact, you can probably eat a bunch of these. <laughs> it's not one at a time. What I wanted to do, they're all delicious. It's a basic. I can imagine how good it would taste if they um, had pecans or almond bits to it or something. And I'm gonna try this with milk. Specifically almond milk. I like it to be healthy. And what I'm gonna do is just eat each of these with milk. We do it with Oreos, right? It's a serving suggestion. Why not with these European cookies? It makes it easier to eat. I'm a fan. Oh yeah. At first, just the cookie is just, it's cool snack. But now with the milk, wow. This is an automatic. This isn't seasonal. <laughs> this is muffly now. I like it. And it's a very dry snack. So the milk really loosens things up. Now this is a thick monster truck of a shortbread. Let's see what the milk does to it. The milk is making it a little softer. It was hardcore before. Like a brick. Now it's a little softer. The almond milk makes it taste better. Definitely. And this is so thick, it actually takes some effort to eat. So I'm gonna put this down and just go straight to these Scotty dogs and see if I can just, I'll eat it like cereal. Mmm. <laughs> that is eventful. Mmm. <laughs> Holy oh, yeah. hell. This is fun. This food is family friendly. So, wow. Those Scotty dogs don't play around. So to list them between the best, Scotty dogs win. They're number one for their, the way the flavor is set up in them and they're easy to eat. They're very user friendly. Number two would be the um, shortbread rounds. And they're, they're fun to eat. And they also take good in the milk. Number three and last would be the pure butter, pure butter shortbread. It's colored and original. It gets the job done, but I'm gonna always choose these two, Scotty Dogs and the Rounds over this basic shortbread, just because. And they all have the same flavor, but it's good enough to eat. So I'll finish the rest of this. So hopefully, I inspired most of you to go out and look for it in your local supermarket. It's the holidays. It should be at your local supermarket in the um, snack aisle somewhere, or it could be. Or just look for it online. But um, definitely recommendable are these dogs, 100%. Now I'm gonna have fun with this. All right, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time with more European snacks. Peace. Mmm.
I would dump it all in, but I don't want them to get soggy and melt. <laughs> oh well. It's life. Mm. That's on point. It might be just as much fun as alphabets. <laughs> Mm. Now, sing. <laughs>